ప్రతీత యేసు యేసు కల్తే పంపే సమాధాన నికిల్నొట్టు ఉప్పడు అంచాదు ఆ సమాధాన నమ్మ నడుటు నిత్యోగ్లా ఉప్పడు పంద స్వామిడ నట్టోన్గ ఇత్తే అంచిన సమాధానద పాతేర పనరిగు బరుందుల్లేరు నమ్మ కాంతి చర్చ్ కాయర్ ద సదస్యేరు ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ చెరి నమన అండ్ ప్రజ్ఞ టు గివ్ ద ఇంట్రడక్షన్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ ఎవ్రీవన్ పీస్ సిస్టర్ వాజ్ ఒరిజినలీ రిటర్న్ బై హొరీషో ఫార్మర్ and Mary Ann Baker in the year 1874. Its lyrics were inspired by a New Testament story. At its core, the hymn is a narrative depiction of the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 4, verses 37 to 41, from the King James Version, which says, And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was on the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he rose, and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are we so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared me exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? All of us have seen sudden storms in our lives, a few of them, though temporary, like these of the Sea of Galilee, can be violent and frightening and potentially destructive. We may not see all the reasons for the storms we pass through in our lives. But as Romans 8.28 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who, who love him, who have been called accordingly to his purpose. So now, as we sing this hymn, let's reflect on the powerful message of this hymn and how it guides us to finding peace in Christ. Oh 
Yeah.